Hi there, Jay Tedeschi here, Senior Technical Marketing Specialist at Autodesk. Today we're going to take a look at direct modeling, uh, specifically what direct modeling can do for you as a customer with regard to working with uh, data from a variety of sources. In this case, it's a Creo 3.0 assembly of a sequential six-speed transmission. This is from the BAC Mono data set. Uh, we are, in this case, we are choosing to import directly into Inventor. So we are converting the Creo models into Inventor models. Um, this technique, or the set of techniques we're going to be exploring over the next few minutes, uh, essentially we'll focus on making modeling changes to non-native data and for that direct modeling is a really superior modeling technique uh, over what we've had available in the past. So here is the uh, six-speed, this is the entire six-speed sequential transmission uh, and the next step we're going to take is to place a an assembly that we've created ourselves into a transmission which is obviously uh, generated or modeled by uh, a company that supplies BAC. So BAC designs their own shift selector rod which th that is the yellow the gold assembly that's in there right now and we're going to utilize direct modeling uh, in this case we're going to resize the diameter of the hole that the uh, selector rack assembly fits into because as you can see it is obviously too small the diameter does not match so we'll enlarge that diameter now this uh, in you know in real world this could be achieved as easily as just boring out that hole let's take a look at another example in this case it is a printer cartridge um, from an inkjet printer and there are some design changes that uh, were basically taking an existing design, uh, this could be an example of when uh, our own company or a division in our company which uses a different modeling tool than we do, we're able to utilize that data, uh, import it into Inventor and then use some of the direct modeling techniques. In this case uh, we just changed that radius right there opening that up somewhat. Now we'll select all of the faces of this uh, slot and we'll go ahead and move these. We'll begin by locating uh, relative to the center and then we'll move in the X and Y location uh, on that face uh, to relocate the, uh, the slot itself. Finally, we'll select those exact same faces once again. And then we'll use the locate uh, tool to select the center and then we'll go ahead and rotate uh, minus five degrees. So this facilitates design changes uh, from, you know, this is data that was created uh, utilizing a different design tool. We're able to import it into Inventor and then make these design changes. These could also then be documented uh, with the Drawing Manager or with AutoCAD or any of the tools that are capable of documenting uh, an Inventor design. Now you'll note that I'm able to use the Snap To functionality once we've selected all of the uh, faces of the model that we wish to change, we're able to very quickly uh, locate it relative to the end of the model here by just moving and then again grabbing snap, snapping to that face, and it's flush. Very quick and easy and efficient method of modeling or changing existing models that were modeled with uh, different design tools. Finally, let's take a look at uh, utilizing the direct modeling tools uh, with regard to modification of analysis results. Uh, in this case, this is a non-native model. Uh, this is part of that same uh, inkjet printer cartridge assembly. And as you can see, the, uh, the displacement results from the stress analysis showed that we were getting a bit too much deflection on these tabs. So with direct modeling, I was able to very quickly uh, essentially increase the diameter of that which will allow us to without having to spend a lot of time do some iterative uh, design work here and just find out very quickly if for example we do increase that diameter does it uh, effectively make this a better part reducing the deflection uh, when this part is loaded. 
and as we saw from the results it did so now we will uh, carry these design changes downstream so the holes in the housing uh, that that tab that those two cylindrical tabs fit into let's grab those inner bores and again we'll use direct modeling so we'll select direct model we'll select size and let's just go ahead and drag these to a larger diameter All right, with that, I hope you saw something that was helpful for you today, and I look forward to seeing you and talking to you all again in the very near future.